Hello, my name's Megan and welcome to my YouTube channel, Good Looking Journal. I've been running my small business, Good Looking Journal, since 2019. It started as just a fun little Instagram hobby and now it has become my full-time job running my own website, Etsy business and freelance work as a graphic designer. I really wanted to throw my hat in the ring in terms of making YouTube videos because I absolutely love watching people's studio vlogs in the background while I'm working and I find them very inspiring but a lot of them showcase businesses that are already thriving and I really wanted to show a business that's just started. I only started this full time last year so yeah we're still growing, we're still learning, I'll share a lot of mistakes that I make along the way but hopefully I'll also give you some tips and tricks so that you don't make the same mistakes as me. I hope that you'll stick around for some wholesome content and that you'll feel inspired by the work that I do. We're going to start today with a little tour of my office. I don't work in a big fancy glamorous studio, it is just my little office in my little house in South East London. So I moved into this house in August last year and when I came and looked around I could not believe how perfect this little room was going to be for my business. Um, I'll show you in a second just the storage space, the shelves, oh they're an artist's dream. In the corner here I have my easel which I totally adore plus a little sneak peek of my stickers which I'm launching this week. I'll just show you my desk space um, because I've recently upgraded this. Um, so I bought myself this little stand for my laptop. It's rose gold. I'll take this off so you can see properly. Um, and oh, it looks kind of gold in this lighting, but it is rose gold. And then I've got a little Bluetooth keyboard that I use so I don't have to awkwardly sit and type. You can see here a little, little picture of my beautiful cat Heidi on my laptop. So on my actual desk itself, I don't keep all that much because I like to keep as much space as possible for packaging orders, um, which takes up so much space. Um, but I keep all my favorite washi tapes here. Then um, I keep kind of my most used pens and stationery items here. And then you can see I've got this little notice board and a handy little chart that keeps all of my um, measurements for postage. And then on the wall here, I've got a few things that inspire me. Some poems, prints by other artists, all that kind of thing. This is the ugly corner of the office. Um, it keeps all of my frames and my boxes for packaging um, and a little a little stock check there. This trolley here is not aesthetically pleasing but it keeps kind of all of my art supplies um, in terms of like actual paints and um, the flower press there and that kind of stuff so uh, and the top shelf's got all of my tapes for packing orders. Here's my little stool that helps me reach the things on the very top shelf because I'm a very small woman. I think I'm going to save like a proper in-depth description of all the things that I actually have in my office for another day. Um, things like what printer I use and um, just recommendations for small business must-have items. Um, I just wanted to give you like a little insight into the kind of environment that I'm working in um, today. Of course, the real lady who runs the show around here is the little cat, Heidi.
good morning. It's Friday today. I'm just going to be a little bit quiet because my partner's still sleeping, but I've had quite a slow, gentle morning today. I just started a new crochet project last night, so obviously I woke up this morning and that was all I wanted to do. So first thing on my to-do list today is to go to the post office. I've got a few orders to send out and I've also got to send some wedding invitations that I signed for a friend. Um, so I'm really excited for her to receive those. Um, I'll try and post a little image here so you can see what they look like. Um, so that's the first thing to do, I'll take you along with me. When I first started these YouTube videos, I said that I was going to share the highs and the lows and the reality of really running a small business. Well, today is a bit of a low day. I was hoping to be really productive, but this morning I was doing some cleaning and I must have got some dust or something in my eye because I've got quite a nasty allergic reaction going on here. It's very uncomfortable and it's making focusing quite difficult so I was going to do a lot of drawing today but I'm going to have to take a bit of a rain check and have a gentle morning instead so just popping on to tell you what's going on with me and to show you that it's not always sunshine and rainbows. Hello I am feeling so much better thank goodness and I've actually got a lot more work done than I thought I would so I've just finished the designs for a printable that I'm going to be adding as a freebie to my springtime newsletter. If you'd like a copy of one of these then you can sign up to my newsletter via the link in the video description. Um, so now the next job on my list is to actually write the newsletter and get that all scheduled to go out tomorrow as a little Sunday morning treat. So let's put on some relaxing music and get that job done. morning it is Sunday so today is for journaling setting up my journal for next week so I'll try and film a lot of social media content on a Sunday usually so that I don't have to do it throughout the week and um, so today I'm going to be using my new printables from my newsletter so let's see how they look when I put them in my journal that's pretty much my week in a nutshell, a little insight into how I run my business. I hope that you enjoyed my first studio vlog. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next week. <laughs> 